<laughs> Sorry, everybody. Loud. Sorry, sure. players and GM. I'll say that quieter. Hello. 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 Welcome to Heroes Incorporated. Uh, as you can see, Alex is not with us this evening. We have a guest GM, Stephen Jones. Extraordinaire. Freebooter. He's practiced. He's experienced. Um, we have, uh, before you go to the guests, because Guardian's not with us, and neither is Overdrive. But first and foremost, uh, thank you to our sponsor, Roll20, uh, giving us a little more toys to play with, and being part of the Roll20 Spotlight. Um, <clears throat> also, we have ordered commissions, and they're slowly coming in. So thank you everyone who has subbed or tipped to our channel. Uh, you will get copies of the commission uh, once it's 100% com complete. Um, thank you. And speaking of subs, for the month of August, I'll make this announcement every game, for every gift subscription, I will match it. <clears throat> Just a heads up there if you want to gift anyone a subscription. Uh, I will double that. And also... Bold words, bold words. Yes. <laughs> Gotta unlock these emotes. Um, and Thursday we have the Call to Adventure D&D game where I DM and run three beginners uh, through the first adventure campaign and we'll have guests up here. Uh, actually, double guests this week. Um, to uh, help <laughs> as RP coaches. And speaking of guests, since you're drinking, uh, Eric, tell us about all about yourself and wait, wait. Uh, where to find you. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Drinking shame. Yeah. <laughs> hello, my name is Eric Shapolsky. I am the DM of the Dice Fiends, and you can find us on Twitter at Dice Fiends. And we have a Discord. You can come shit post with us. At <laughs> so that's pretty good. I'm not going to pretend. Dangerous invitation. I'm not going to pretend what we do is quality. <laughs> do you have a ship posting academy to teach people how to ship post if they don't know their ship post? It's something you're born with, but yeah, I'll try. <laughs> oh, and hey, thanks, Dub and Cage, for hosting us. <laughs> oh, cool. Mm -hmm. so, uh, turn, I guess? Yes, your turn. Okay, uh, my name is Nicholas Roberts. I, um, um, Rob's been trying to get me on the show for a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm a uh, beginner hobbyer streamer, mostly doing Final Fantasy XIV content, um, but I'm a big fan of super, the Hysphere genre and role-playing games, so I figure it's a good fit that I'm around. So nice to meet you guys. Welcome to the show. I like your hat. Thank you. Alright, and let's turn things over to our Game Master. Jonesy. Okay, um, so, um, I'm ready to be the and GM for this evening. Um, we'll see how this goes. Um, my internet's been acting up all of a sudden, so. Curse, but whoever's yeah. GMing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I blame Alex. Uh, Alex. Um, or Alex. <laughs> so, uh, he wrecks my car next. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 so, uh, with that, we're gonna. Uh, I do want to just kind of start off with having the, our our series regulars. Tell everyone their character's name and actually what the character's favorite movie is and why. Oh my goodness. Can we make one up or it has to be legit? It has to be legit. <laughs> okay, I don't want to go first. It actually has to, be, it has to be a Vince Vaughn movie. I need time. Okay, I got it. Okay. I play Vixen. She hits things. 
favorite movie is The Princess Bride. What? <laughs> <laughs> that took a turn. Not a bad choice. She, <laughs> she, she watches it with, with Ellis all the time. Probably a little bit of The Dark Crystal, too. Willow and um, Star Wars. But her favorite of, of the stuff that she watches is probably Okay, I got something. All right. Uh, I'm Rob Duke. I play Colosso, Michael Gold. Um, because his father is super into baseball in Freedom City, um, there his favorite movie is Filled with Dreams. Um, also because of the concept of Heroes Incorporated, if you build it, they will come. By Colosso Creeps. <laughs> Okay, I got one. Um, I'm Stephanie Lyon. I play Chance, and her favorite movie is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Just because he does all the things she wanted to do in high school. And never did. I never did. She's a good girl. Um, and we've met our, our illustrious guests, um, which were keeping their identities secret for just a few moments. You'll find out quickly why. Um, so, um, last we saw our heroes, they just returned from Freebird, um, after giving a bunch of Mortis's drama. Um, mm -hmm. since then, Mortis has gone on vacation. Um, <laughs> I, where, where does Morris um, go on vacation? What 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 is Morris Pennsylvania. Like? No. So <laughs> there's, there's probably like a sand, sand um, there's probably a beach with black sand somewhere. Just fucking in a uh, room somewhere. Well, Mortis is on a work vacation. Um work vacation. so as uh he has informed the team he has gotten in contact with a hero by the name of Gatekeeper. Um who lives out in San Francisco, who's a arcane master of uh, master of the arcane. So he's hoping that Mortis is hoping that he can help him with his understand his powers. So Mortis has left and well, you know, you can text him or call him or whatever, but he's he's on the West Coast. Yeah, he's getting answers. Finally. <laughs> New phone, who it is? Um <laughs> <laughs> So, so we will not be seeing Mortis tonight. Mortis is the character I normally play, but from my guest DMing, I'm, he is, he's dealing with, uh, I'm spending experience points and he's getting connected as an, as an advantage. So, Mortis, is, Mortis ghosted us. Man. Oh no. It has starts. Godless Lawyer isn't even here yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, we're going to do things a little bit different than how Alex does it, because, well, each game is a little different. So, um, for our viewers, um, we have a small little cutscene. Um, elsewhere, uh, in a rather large, uh, oversized penthouse uh, with uh, lots of Roman columns and, and uh, uh, fine, uh, lush curtains and plants, and um, we have a mysterious woman standing in front of a mirror. Um, uh, wearing a long, loose uh, dress, toga-esque dress, uh, and uh, she uh, starts gazing in the mirror and she starts reciting some language that most of our heroes do not speak. Um, and uh, as she does, she starts gesturing towards the mirror and you start seeing shimmers and energy ripple throughout the mirror. Um, and she's like, uh, she's, Come forth and let loose my uncle shall pay. Uh, and with this invocation, unleash, unleash the titans. And uh, as she does, a burst of energy flashes through the mirror and ripples out. Elsewhere, we have a group of heroes responding to an alarm uh, in a rather, in Star Labs. Um, the four heroes have, re have responded to a break-in. Uh, the well-known and notorious rogues are at it again, um, trying to make off with some high-tech piece of equipment. 
With that, the, the four heroes are in pursuit. One gentleman in a orange and greenish costume reaches up a gun and points it at the far wall. But with a flash of light, the fall, the, the chrome finish far wall ripples <laughs> as it starts to start running through. It shatters in a billion pieces, sucking in our four illustrious wayward heroes. Heroes Incorporated, Elseworlds. Um, as uh, the spell goes off, you hear um, uh, Blossom. You have a little beep, 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 beep on your, your app. All right. And next thing it's a on the app. And beep, 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 And, like, alarm all over the place to walk. It is late evening, and uh, it's late evening in, in Freedom City, and uh, there are reports pouring in of a large explosion rocking Astro Labs in Northside. I hate it when they rock my Astro. Sorry. <laughs> are we all together? <laughs> um, that's up to you. You guys can either be at your your um, your residence or at the base. You're all getting the alarm no matter what. You know what? Can I set something up real quick? We are in the conference room, and I'm going over a phone number that's confidential. You guys can call for grief counseling, anger management, and then the alarms, the alerts go off. Okay. <laughs> well, the people, the people who need grief management and anger management are not here tonight. Well, I understand <laughs> that, but this was a scheduled meeting. <laughs> and all the uh, looks like we got a situation. Mm-hmm. Let's go, team. And with that, uh, the uh, the heroes <laughs> running make their run. way over to Heels. Astro Labs. I can give a lift. And as I step outside, I activate my belt and something, and I move, I grow much quicker. And I get a little wavy at first. And I'm like, I put my hands down to give you girls a left. <laughs> Thanks for all the boss. I'm going to put you on my shoulders. And then we go. Okay. So are we NPCing Guardian and Overdrive? Should they be on there? Uh, nope. Guardian Overdrive are elsewhere. Why can I move their companies? Um. So you've made your way, uh, so the Heroes of Heroes Inc. are making their way over. Um, meanwhile, uh, over in uh, at Astro Lab, the hero. Uh, Connor, you are um, smoke so clear as you're standing. Uh, the explosion ripped out a big, huge wall, and as you go flying through the wall, you kind of tumble out outside the building. And things look off to you. The building is you're outside the building wall, and it's this giant curved wall. What? Which? That's the building in Star Labs is square. So it curves up when it goes up, but it's actually a square building. Now you're standing outside of a, a rather large round building. The skyline seems a little off to me too. I um, do not any indication of the ropes though. I look for my friends immediately, like I shot I shot for my friends, see if anyone responds. Like, hey guys, guys! Hello? Um, with that, uh, Gar, now uh, you can. Oh. You dick or don't? Did we lose voice? No, we didn't. You don't know, it just lagged. Okay. Good, because I kind of I kind of heard this Gar, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's me, but what what, what, heck, what came after? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, um. No, uh, you hear Connor yelling for you, but you don't see the other two, uh, any other two, 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 two. Okay. 
Um, but am I outside or inside at this point? Uh, you are actually, um, you land uh, on the inside of the wall, because the wall kind of blew it. Uh, oh, okay. You were pulled, knocked out, you kind of shifted and kind of landed on the inside. Okay. Something. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm here. You alright, buddy? Uh, so, I guess I guess I pull my I pull myself up and kind of shake myself off a bit, kind of almost uh, canine like, just uh, get the rubble off, dust myself off. And it's like, oh, uh, I'll live. That's good. That's good. And am I am I on the outside or in the inside? Um. Sorry. Right. We know if you can shift it over, so you should be able to spin that now. Oh, okay. Where? Let's see. I'm just gonna zoom out on this. Let's be real. Oh, okay, I. See. Nope, I see. Some of the Oh, I see myself. Yeah. Okay. So. Um. um uh. I actually will need perception checks from both our heroes incorporated members and our two visitors. Um, so, so, should be on your character perception. sheet. Perception. There you go. Who oh, please? No, I received nothing. But 11's a good number, so. That's good. I like number 11. 20's a lot better. So, so as the, as Shiro's as incorporated, uh, approaches the building, uh, you are approaching the, um, Astro City, the Astro Labs building, um, Astro City, different game, um, Astro Labs building, and, uh, you see some smoke rising from the back, uh, back section of the building as you arrive. Um, and if you start making your way over that direction, chance you spot uh, a teen wearing a, a black t-shirt just kind of like standing near the edge of the rubble. Doesn't appear to be hurt or anything, but just, you know, someone you've never seen before. Okay. Guys, there's somebody over there. He's, uh, can't see him very well, but he's standing by the rubble where the smoke's coming up. Your first guess would be a civilian because he's wearing uh, black uh, blue jeans and a black t-shirt. He's not wearing a super suit. I'll uh, return to my normal size, and in the process, I put my hands down. So I flip them off in the process. <clears throat> you flick us off? No, You're I like, let you off. <laughs> you like shake us off like we're pleased. Get off. Oh, I pick I, you up and I, I hold you as I I will flick you. I don't want to flip us off. You're gonna, you're gonna throw me towards him so that I get there faster. <laughs> we don't know if it's a hostile situation. That's fine. <clears throat> Just because you're throwing Well, me you're in. on the ground now. Okay. So, um. So as you uh, are looking around, uh, Chance has pointed out to you, you see uh, uh, a gentleman, teen, teenager, uh, looks like a civilian wearing blue jeans and a t-shirt. Uh, looks like he's yelling, uh, can't really hear who he's yelling, but we can tell he's yelling at someone. Um, he seems to be surveying the damage. I guess we should go there and talk to him, or at least see what kind of situation he says. Okay. Approach diplomatically prepared. Still guard. It's okay. It's okay. And uh, what would our uh, our visitors like to do? Still guard. Uh, using your name. I'm currently looking around, trying to find a door to get in the lab, so I can try and rendezvous with Gar. 
Or is it just a big hole in the wall? Can I just walk through? It's a hole. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna walk through. If I haven't noticed the three people. So, um, and with uh, your your perception checks, you did, you did not see them coming up on you. All right, so I'm just gonna try to get through and get back to my teammate. Okay, so uh, you're able to go in. Uh, Garus freed himself of the rubble. Um, you do not see um, one. You, you know that that's normally how is not how his gun works. Hmm. Normally, it just makes things shiny and ripply, and then you jump through them. Uh, things normally don't explode. Um, and uh, there are uh, some signs of some something occurred outside. Uh, when you go in, you can kind of see some torch marks and stuff. But um, you're able to find Gar, but you don't see the other, the other two. Uh, have you seen anyone, Gar? Uh, no. No, I haven't. It's really weird. Is Mirror Master's gun supposed to look like that? Work like that, I should say? No, I don't want... I don't think so. Probably it's just mirrors. Hmm. I'm gonna... Do we have comms? We have, like, communication devices, right? Uh, you, to communicate with our yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, yes, you know, we have to communicate with Okay, I'm going to put my ear, hand up to my ear and try to press it like, come in. Is anyone here? Uh, come on. You, you do not get a signal. They <sighs> got my cell phone. Will they carry a cell phone? Who knows? You want? You're, I'm a teenager. I carry a cell phone. I carry a cell phone. <laughs> Seems legit. Um, yeah, uh, you check the, your cell phone and um, you get a, you get a signal. Hey, oh, wow. that's good. Okay, I'm gonna try to find a teammate in one of my co in my contacts and call them. Scrolling through, um, you looking for the teammates you were with, or the one or, or other teammate? Um, I'm gonna try to look for someone who might know what kind of shenanigans happen. Maybe someone magic based. Is there someone magic based on this team at this point? Yeah, you, you know a couple. Uh, oh. So you go through, and you know, if nothing else, you've got friends who have friends. So yeah, yeah. Um, as you tile some of the numbers, you uh, do the quick contact, um, it goes to, you know, number not in service. I look at it, look at guys like, something weird's going on here. This, I don't think this is the city we were in before. Just gonna do a hot take there. Uh, um, and as our, our uh, as you're, you're talking to the, you know, the, the rubble of the room, um, you spot a, a sign, uh, some some paperwork and stuff on the room because they ran through an office and to try to leave. Um, it doesn't say Star Labs. It says Astro Labs. We're definitely not in Kansas yeah. anymore. Be quiet, I'm just voice. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> as you, as the hero members approach, you see, uh, uh, you saw the kid. Oh, we just lost chance. Um, no, we didn't. Uh -oh. She's there. I still see her. Yeah. I'm here uh, now. So as you uh, approach, there's a big smoking uh, hole in the wall, and it looks like the the teen boy went back inside. And who's on point for our uh, our team? I'll be on point. Where's the hole in the wall? Is it over here? Like, are we going through the yeah. lab? Are we on the other side? Where, where are we? Yeah, you guys want to around to where the, yeah, you want to around to where the smoking stuff was. Okay, so. So we're like up here now. Yeah. Uh, okay. As you go, uh, as you approach, you see, uh, looks like a couple teenagers talking on the side. 
Uh, one is the one you saw, the, the street clothes with the um, black hair, uh, black t-shirt, um, some sort of red design on it. And on the other end, he's talking to a small green kid, uh, small-ish uh, green kid. Hi. Um, I look. I look over. You, oh, hey. You uh, having some issues here? Um. Yeah, we are. I. It's understatement it's, of the century. I see. I see that you have a whole mess here. A bit. A bit. A bit. And you're you're dressed in superhero gear. I'm dressed up like a fox. Nice. Right. <laughs> Teenage boy you? is looking at you. Can only oh imagine. yeah, like, <laughs> like I, he's just like returning to your face, like just <laughs> be polite. I'm Dixon. Who are you? Superboy. No. Like, Never heard of you. Never heard of you. Huh. Well, you know. um, these are my friends. Colossus. This is Chance. Be wary of her. Sometimes she has really good luck, and sometimes her luck screws you over. Nice. Sorry. Where are we? Uh, you're in Freedom City? Freedom what? Where is Freedom City? city. You know, city has a bunch of buildings. Yeah, oh. I know what I know where I know what a city is. I just don't know. Who would name a city Freedom? That seems a bit on the nose. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Anyway. I don't think I paid pay attention to that part of the history. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's see. So, uh, well, uh, can you explain your situation to us? Well. To be not from around here, so. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm Superboy. This is Beast Boy. I motion to guard. Right. We're part of the Team Titans, and we are chasing the rogues through Star Labs when Mirror Master fired his gun. There was an explosion, and we're here. I don't know where the uh, other two of us are. Who? Mirror Master, you know, guy, me, the guy who deals with mirrors, really annoying. Rogues, Sorry. Flash. No. no. Flash? No. Really fast guy runs, makes quips. Overdrive. He, overdrive. Oh yeah, overdrive. I don't know where he is. <laughs> I'm pretty sh. He may have no. taken his girlfriend to the Bahamas or something. He owed her big. Mm. Okay. Um. So we have to figure out how to get home. Bro. Don't want to miss movie night. Oh shit. Movie night. It yes. was fun, yeah. What, what movie were you going to watch? I know that's not relevant to the situation at all, but... Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's... We really didn't decide, you know, it's whatever is on net, whatever is on Netflix when we turn it on. Yeah. We have that. We have Netflix. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's yeah, good. okay. Yeah, it's good. I might have to just... Yeah, okay, good. This world isn't completely devoid of hope. Well, I'm going to ask you. You are you seem like a young, upcoming, great kid. You like movies. Upcoming. You like movies. I'm, I've been thinking about taking Heroes Incorporated into a cinematic universe. How do you guys feel about those kind of things? I don't even know what Heroes Incorporated is. Oh, that's are us. Kind of like, I'm close. Kind of like D-list superhero team? Would you like an autograph? We're, we're more like B list <laughs> on the rise. Because I, we have like the Justice League. I don't know what that Teen is. Titans. No. Whatever Batman calls his people. Wait, Justice League. No. You mean there's the a, freedom? There's a guy who looks. There, there's a guy who looks like a bat. Is he like part bat? He's, he's a rich guy who likes to beat people up. Raven. I'm not. That's really weird. He's in Emerald City. Wait. Who? I look at like. Raven? Never mind. <laughs> everything, everything is so backwards here. <laughs> everything is so backwards here. Yeah. Like, um. So like why are you guys here? 
uh, we got a we got a notification. Uh, we have an app where mm. people can summon us to help them, it, and we got a notification that something was going down. Here. I guess we're going down here, so we're here to figure this out. Do you know who summoned you? People. Uh, so just, there's not. Oh, okay, so it's basically like calling 911 for three people. Yeah. Well, normally six. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we have we have one that's spending time with his kids. Probably. Maybe if his wife wants to see him. I mean, his ex-wife. TMI, Vixen, TMI. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I won't go into... Oversharing. Creep therapy or... Anything like oh. that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, while you guys are bantering, is uh, uh, what is Chance doing? It's been kind of quiet. Yeah, Chance is taking it all in right now. She's uh, listening to both sides and face palming it at uh, maybe like an autograph sort of. And she steps through the rubble and uh, takes a look around and uh, says, Tell us a little more about this uh, mirror fella. Well, hmm? he's Mirror Master. He's mirror basically master. got this gun, and it basically turns anything into a mirror, and then he can kind of go into, like, a mirror dimension sort of idea. And he can go in and out of any mirror that ever exists. It's kind of a weird power. Oh, well, we, very vain. We've got a villain who makes paintings come alive. We won't talk about her. <laughs> And for the uh, for our visitors um, <laughs> from DC, um, uh, Mirror Master had um, five companions with him. Do we remember who the companions were, or did they just yes. g- generic roles? Yes, uh, you know you know that he was accompanied during the break-in. He was accompanied by Captain Colt, mm-hmm. Heat Wave. Um, uh, Pie Piper, the Trickster, and Weather Wizard. No, I was hoping for a Pipe Man. Okay, so. <laughs> so, whatever's happening, there are probably like six pretty terrible people just running around right now. There's um, a guy with a cold gun, a guy with a heat gun. Tricky person. Tricky. Sorry. Like, like superhero he's like a Joker, tricky. but you know, not as popular. I don't know who a Joker is. He's the guy who dresses up like a clown and kills people. That's well, terrifying. It is. It is. Good thing we don't so have anything like, like that here. <laughs> so he's like it. What? Pennywise. You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> Stephen King. Oh yes. I don't know if Stephen King exists in the DC universe, but sure. <laughs> Chance, would you like to make me an investigation check? Yes, yes I would. Oh, that's a critical oh, fail of 21. But... <laughs> you have, like, super investigation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so as you're um, kind of poking through the rubble, Pull out, yeah, see, not the 21. Um, Even <laughs> with the one, uh, you pull out what appears to be a, a spear tip. Ooh, what's this? Take a look at this, guys. Uh, and YouTube, did they recognize this at all, maybe? I didn't drop that, did you? Well, I, I don't need a spear, so I don't think so. Maybe somebody you were with had a spear. Nightwing no. and Troy. I don't think they use spears. Who and who? <laughs> Our two teammates. Don't worry about it. Listen, Nightwing no. and who? Troya. 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 Okay. Troya. Pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. Gar, am I pronouncing that right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's right. I'm pretty sure that's right. All right. Well, if it's so, not, 
they okay. find out. It, are they here? Well, it I could be Aqua Lads, but we didn't have them with us, so. Aqua Lad. Um, are you sure? Did your. If you got sent here, what if your teammates got sent someplace else? Well, they're not. They're not in range of our communicators, or. So. I guess. I mean, be on another world isn't the strangest thing that's happened to us, I guess. It would be okay. the strangest thing that ever happened to me. Could, is there some kind of knowledge check I could do about the spear tip, see if it jogs any memories of like, uh, magic sure. crap? Sure. Uh, magic. Yeah, you can do me a, uh, make me an investigation check. It's investigation. Should I still want to do? Oh, Ow. no. That is a spear tip. <laughs> it's a spear tip. Wow. Mm -hmm. Uh, I could could I roll one maybe if, see if Gar might remember something. Yeah. Totally. Okay. All right, and yeah. I pull eight, so that much better. I'm not caught tonight, y'all. Um. Yeah. Okay. Can yeah. I roll? It looks like his, it, Can I roll an art history check to see if I know uh, anything? You totally can. That's totally an appropriate check for you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Our history. Here we go. Thirteen. <laughs> uh, it's relatively easy for you. Um, it is a the tip of uh, what appears to be um, what would be a Bronze Age um, Greek slash Roman spear tip. I will throw this at this. That is from that's but, from you, the but as you, yeah, as you're looking yeah. at it, it's quite clear it's not pure oh. bronze because oh. it's actually too, it's too hefty and too new. It it appears to be from from the Bronze Age, uh, around the maybe the Greece or Rome, but it appears maybe to be made. I don't know. It's not like like the style is like the Bronze Age. It looks like it's made for the Bronze Age, but it also looks not worn enough. Like it looks new. Usually, when stuff is this old, it has a yeah. look to it, and it doesn't appear to be pure. So I don't think it's a replica. Because there's something about it that doesn't seem like it's a replica, but it's just odd. Do y'all have Amazons here? Amazon? Amazon Prime. Like, we have, we up, have hot women who live on an island off Greece. Well, we have Greek Amazons, but their mythology. Tall, beautiful know? women? Oh, yeah. I've dated a few of those. Hush. <laughs> um, <laughs> Might this be? Could this like, be like, like Hippolyta and uh, I don't know whoever that one was that fought Achilles in the in the Trojan War and they fell Helen? in love and then he accidentally killed her. Now Helen was uh, from no yeah like, Barter or something. No she yeah, was but not, she was not Amazon. Like but she real. was the daughter of Zeus and she had a twin sister. Zeus. What? Never mind. I looked at Gar. Could this be? Could this be Troyes? Does she, she, she use these? Uh, I know she uses Amazon, right? Yeah. Um. Hers probably wouldn't have broken. Mm. 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 If she was using one. Yeah. Okay. Well, what time of night is it? It is early evening as you start looking around. Yeah, the sun is starting to set. It's definitely getting dark in the city. And over to the east, you start seeing a, a couple flashes of light. And as you uh, continue to watch, it, it looks like an isolated thunderstorm is starting to break out. Hmm. Is that normal? No, but oh? sometimes unnormal things Wait. happen. Wait, weather wizard. Does he have, like, a hat? 
like does he have like a long beard and look like Merlin? No, 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 no. He's just a psychopath who can control the weather. Well, that's disappointing. It is. I'll I'll let him know next time I put him in jail. Come on. And I start walk. I start running towards the isolated thunderstorm. I don't know if they can keep up if I just go all out. So. Uh, also, can I have a maybe a shoulder ride? Sure. Do you guys have a car or something? I am Lord's oh, yeah. forty-two feet. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <sighs> I'm surprised I didn't see that before. <laughs> We were on the other side of the building. Don't leave me behind. Well, lucky for me, I don't need a ride. And I'll take a moment to um, transform into a hawk and kind of follow in the direction that Colossus going. I, I will yell at Beast Boy, Cool power! <laughs> where the, where the green kid go? He turned into a bird. With that, uh, Excuse me? Morphs into a green... See, bird! Okay. I fly around in front of Klaus's face. Hmm. He doesn't believe in magic! I think it's science, technically. I okay, don't know. awesome! And then I'll break <laughs> into my super run towards the... And you head on over to the financial district, and um, as you get approached, you see that the, 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 the thunderstorm that you saw off in the distance is actually very, very condensed, happening roughly at about two, two to three block radius um, in the financial district. As you approach, you see lots of sirens and, and cars kind of parked on the side of the road as people have been getting out of their cars and running from random lightning strikes that have been striking the various cars. Uh, in the center of it, you see um, wizard, Weather Wizard. Let me move a couple of our, our extras that aren't going to be here tonight. Uh, you see uh, a gentleman wearing green and yellow. And uh, as he's flying up, floating up in the middle of the air, lightning's kind of raining down all around him. Hmm. Yep, How far is he up in the air? What? How far is he up in the air? Me? 42 feet. No, weather wizard. Oh. this week and did not go out the pictures. I do apologize for that. I can I can help me I can find pictures and put them in the thing and then you can Oh I got it. Okay. I I'd be welcome to help. Oh, it's very disappointing that has nothing to do with the weather. You should now be able to see Weather Wizard. Uh, like I said, he's floating up there. And, uh, How far up is he? He is approximately 30, 35 feet in the air. Flying pretty high up over the street, about three, four stories up. Uh, as he's... Uh, kind of cackling and raining down lightning bolts. Um, you do see that the front window of the bank behind him has been blasted open. Mm-hmm. And you see the glows coming off from the inside of them. Like an uh, orange, orange and whitish warm glow kind of shimmering on the inside of the bank. Uh, and here are something only two of them would have come through. Yay. Okay. And uh, with that, will you please roll for initiative? Um, to roll for initiative, just click on your icon and then hit the initiative. 
button. That way it goes to my tool tracker. I was going to click on icon. I think I clicked on it. Uh, okay, let's try it now. Yay! That's the skills. Do better this time. Where's initiative? <laughs> I didn't do that. Uh. Oh, no! Um, <laughs> I'm clicking on the token, but it's not letting me. Move it. Yeah, I got an eye. Mm -hmm. Going for you? No, I don't. I'm not able to do it either. You told us was Gen Con prep week as well. Um. <laughs> Gen Con prep week. What is the sleep you speak of? Um, <laughs> right. Aww. So for those just joining us, while we're figuring this out, um, <clears throat> two heroes from another universe have arrived to Freedom City. One's a boy who can turn into beasts, and the other one is pretty super. He's a he's a boy that's super. Right. We got a bunch of boys here, <laughs> and they're the lost. We have lost boys. And now we're after some people called the Rogues. <clears throat> yep. Do they have backstab? Yeah, they what? do it better do from behind. Never mind. <laughs> do you actually have sneak attack damage? <laughs> Yes, they do. I like to yeah. sneak attack, definitely. I can't click on this either. It's weird. Let me take a look at it. <sighs> Which. Okay, there's two Beast Boys in here. Which one are we using? Hey, he's a follow or something. Who is it? Hi, hey, Braxton. Thank you for the res Yay! resub. Hello. I've been meaning to talk to you. I've got commission artwork I need to share with you for supporting us. Can you I, do it now? I love Bixen's picture, by the way. Beast Boy. Uh, right click. No. Do left click. Left. No, I'm not. I'm left click is working out there. Okay, let me try the other beast boy. Oh, oh, hold on, wait. There we go. I got it. There we go. Okay, so the is it the the circle one that I put that I? Put? No, you just select your token and then hit initiative, and it'll put you in the. It, on your sheet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Yay! Jeez. All right. Um. Well, <coughs> Hawks can be really fast, or is he a falcon? You have to make sure that their arrow turns into like the cross symbol first, and then that's how you know it'll work. Okay, it's not turning into the cross symbol. Mm. But it's only. It's not showing me the latest. Try it now. Song. Okay, yep, got it. Boom. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are a magical, magical man. He is. Now he gave you control over it. There we go. <clears throat> nice. <clears throat> All right. Sweet. Yeah, Brexton, uh, um, if you can join our Discord server, I can hook you up with that. It's in the link at the bottom of the info. Um, we have uh, he sees you coming and is like, "Ah, oh, the Titans! You followed us here." So you yeah, our friends. Mm -hmm. um, and the Beast Boy. Uh, 
balance. Most of the team actually did better on initiative. Most of the team did better on initiative than uh, Weather Wizard. So, Beast Boy, what would you like to do? Spoiler alert, not me. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Well, so I'm currently in Hawk form right now. So I... uh, Fly over him and poop on his head. Okay, you're not there. I know. (laughs) You play your character. Uh, I guess what I might do is I could um, uh, fly over to where Weather Wizard is, um, try to um, dodge all of the lightning that's coming down, and kind of like flap about him, uh, try and annoy him. So I guess uh, do a close combat uh, attack on him, just kind of like, just like, hey... It's like, what are you doing here? Certainly. Pretty awesome. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and... Oh, that reminds me. So... Oh, Brexton, also, oh. since you... And, wow, do we allow Nicholas to give us re-rolls since he resubbed? <laughs> yes. A resub is still a sub. Okay. So let's see, so I guess it'd be still trying to figure out how all of this works. Brex, who'd you like to give a re-roll to? Okay. Well, we're doing this. <clears throat> Rob, I yes. reset this well because I reset this well, so should we put a roll on the table? When did you do when? Before the show. Before the show? I didn't see that. Yeah. Well, thank you. Uh-huh. Okay, so. Uh, on the we'll put three re-rolls on the table in case anyone needs okay. it and then Brex can tell us who he wants to give his to I guess yours will so, go to someone specifically uh, Brexton uh, so okay. uh, Beast Boy, um, you're doing an attack what um uh, what are you staying in the hawk form or you should I'm I'm staying in Hawk right now. So does so, I have no uh, rank? I have a rank four and I get a plus seven on it. So I don't know how I I'm trying to like this new newbie here. <laughs> uh, Beast Boy, for the unarmed attack, you're really just take a little iconics to the unarmed attack. Uh, okay, roll. Unarmed. Okay, so attack bonus, critical, okay. Uh, so... I think that's how it works. Yeah. So, and then, uh, so... <clears throat> since, uh, so that, since you're new to play the game, so the way it works is you make your attack roll, um, that goes, okay. the result goes against his... Dodge of her, depending on what kind of attack it is. Okay. And then if, if it hits, uh, and then he has to roll against that DC. That okay. DC. Okay. So, and this so. game, uh, you roll the 10 to hit. Yeah. Uh, which is. No. Is. Actually. Um, we have a new character sheet. Um, that is not going to be uh, high enough to hit him. Okay. So, uh, so you get up in a space to kind of flap around, but you do distract him somewhat, uh, but you okay. don't actually get close enough to strike talons. Okay. Um, so I have done my job. <laughs> I, have, I have still done my job. Um, with that, uh, Superboy, you're up. What would you like to do? Okay, so he's up in the air holding his whole his wand, and that's causing... Yes. And do I know if he has something like durability? Like, I... Because I'm assuming, like, the wand lets him control the wind and even to let him fly or something. Yeah, so he, he can, he can, you know that he can, like, create hail and lightning and, and fly with tornado force winds, things like that. Uh, he's... He can cause lots of big damage. Okay, mm, yeah, I just don't, I just don't want to cause him to fall to his death if... I try to grab the wand away from him. 
but I am a punchy boy, so. I'm a punchy. I'm a punchy boy. That's awesome. B O I. So <laughs> I am. I'm gonna try to use my super leap to leap up to where he is and try and grab the wand out of his hand. Black Spike. Uh-oh. Wait. <laughs> Would I be able to do both things in one turn? So the uh, unarmed attack should be right underneath the, or where your initiative is. You just have a couple of the off offensive All right. abilities. So just go ahead and do unarmed attack for that. Yep. So um, you don't need to make a roll anything to jump. So. All right. Just making sure. And by the way, everyone does have a hero point. Woo! <clears throat> Yay! That's a good roll. Yep. Uh, He's a boy. Um. So with fun. that, yeah. You you managed to actually uh, strike a weather wizard, um, and uh, so you ran up, uh, you jumped up, and like I reached out to grab a hold of it, the wand, and uh, with one hand and the other hand, you kind of delivered a blow. Um, yes. Um, <laughs> I punch people, that's what I do. <laughs> With that, um, he is actually quite hurt. Um, and next round, you'll have a chance to use your strength and try to um, yank the wand from his hand. Uh, so I'm, am I like grappling with him right now or something? Yeah. So you kind of jumped up, grabbed hold, and slammed hold, uh, slam, or basically just co cocked him pretty hard. He uh, seems a little um, kind of rattled by that. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna yell at him, "Let go, you nerd!" Let go, you nerd. <laughs> Way to go, Connor. Soup. Oh wait, I don't have any family. Thanks. <laughs> what? So, <clears throat> so, Vixen, what would you like to do? How far am I? I mean, I'm on Colossal Shelter, but how far am I from where all this is going on? Like, where, how close is Colossal? It can be fairly close. Depends on how close Colossal feels like getting to a giant lightning rod. Okay. I told you I'm Vixen not too bright, is... right? Yeah. <laughs> Vixen's gonna jump. Are we? Are, are we going for the wand? Who are you Is that talking what we're to? Doing here? I'm talking to Superboy oh. and 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 uh, Beast Boy. Yeah, go for the wand. Without him, he's just a dude. Okay, I'm gonna jump off of Colossus' shoulder and try to do a a chi strike to on his wrist so that he drops the. Pops the rod. Nice. So you're going for a disarm. And... Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. After roll. Punchy girls, punchy girls. Got him. Uh, he has to hit a, a 20. And with that, um, you uh, jump over and whack his arm and uh, uh, the jolt goes down his arm and he actually flitches and he actually uh, kind of lets go of the wand for a second. Uh, as he does, the pillar of air that he's been kind of cushioning himself with kind of wobbles and shakes. Um, he's too... 
chance. Um, All right, I. And chance, would you like to make me a perception check? Vixa <clears throat> um, can't fly, so she probably, after she hits him, she probably falls 25, 30 feet, lands. So yeah, you can. You can, you can make an acrobatics. Uh, if you want to make an acrobatics check to land, uh, I have catfall. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> I can land. But you're a fox. I am. I know. I believe you. I are. have fox fall. Okay, th that's better. More flavorful. Right. So twenty-four. Uh, and chance with that, you notice that there's uh, obviously some movement going on inside. The, mm -hmm. the bank, yep. and you what appears to be a gentleman wearing a white um, fire retardant suit, uh, holding what appears to be a flamethrower. Oh, what okay. Yeah, the super tower. And uh, which is odd because he seems to be surrounded by a whole bunch of ice. Mm. I'm so tempted to hear Rory's voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you like to do, Chance? How far am I from the uh, nearest way in? I guess the window would be the closest way in. Can you hear me? Yeah. My yeah. audio cut out a touch. What was that? Okay, I was saying, um, how close am I to the window? And is there any cover within reach of going through the window? So there are a couple of pillars and stuff. There's the, 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 the front is kind of some glass windows. Um, the front door is actually been blasted open though. So it's okay. actually broken on the ground. There's a whole bunch of glass bits and pieces, but there are some pillars and stuff. And there's right, some well, ice around the tops of the steps. Okay, I'm not gonna take the steps because I don't want to slip on the ice because that's just my luck. So I'll go in through a window and uh, place my place the pillar, place myself on the other side of the pillar so that they, if they do notice me come in, they can't attack me or at least they can't hit me directly. That makes sense. Sure. Uh, do you want to go ahead and make me a stealth check? 15. Let's see how well he does with his perception check to see if he's fine. Oof. <laughs> yeah, he's fine too. But you managed to sneak in, you get behind the pillar. So uh, you have some cover. Um, with that, uh, it's was it with it with it to go. Uh, he is going to be fumbling for. Wand, and as he does, the entire pillar that he's kind of resting on is collapsing out from under his feet. So if he doesn't get it from you, he's going to be, you're all going to be tumbling to the ground. Yep. Except Beast Boy, because he's flying. Well, except for Beast Boy. Beast Boy is just sitting there flying and mocking. Yo, Beast Boy, Godless, go. Godless Lawyer has joined us. Yay! Hey, Godless Lawyer. <laughs> that was really loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fails miserably uh, with that. Huh? The, uh, yeah, between the Kai key strike and then um, and uh, Superboy, Superboy has yanked the the, the weather uh, wand from him, and uh, you all go tumbling to the ground. All right. Beast Boy uh, flies back a little bit to avoid the the buffle. Um, Superboy is going to be fine. Superboy's tough like that, so he's absolutely nothing to worry about. Wizard or Wither probably is going to be fine, but I want to make him make the toughest. Uh, I'm getting kind of close to the window. Um, I know that I did my turn, but can I try to catch him? I'm already down here. Sure. Okay. What would I need to roll to try to catch him? 
Um, could you go and make me a athletics check to catch up? Athletics. Oh, I go to acrobatics. <laughs> oh, 20. So, um, you actually managed to grab him right before he goes hitting the concrete. He probably would have lived, but it probably wouldn't have been so great for him. Um, with that, uh, Lasso, what would you like to do? <clears throat> so, whether wizard's down, well, and there's people in a bank. I yeah, can't. so Chant, you saw Chant take off to go inside. Okay. <sighs> I need to shrink down so I can get inside the bank. So, I shrink down and move that direction. Can I see inside the bank where I'm at? I don't know if we have a map for the movement for this or not. Yeah, you can, you can, or you can shuffle over a little bit. And, and okay. Then. So make sure, I, want, I just want to see how high the, the ceilings are <clears throat> inside. Yeah, so uh, inside you see uh, what appears to be, uh, your best guess, another one of the, uh, the wayward roads. Do they spot? Do I see Chance? Uh, you see Chance oh, mainly because you see um, it looks like the guy with the flamethrower is uh, setting his sights on Chance, trying to get a good shot at her. Hasn't had a chance to shoot yet. Okay. I'll looks... get close. Well, I guess I can't move anymore. That's fine. Go ahead. <clears throat> He looks like this. Hot. <laughs> Probably says, we got company. <laughs> All right. So, um, you, yeah, you've got a shot. You, do you want to go charging in? What do you, what do you? Are you going to hold back? Um, I'm going to charge in and then regrow as tall as I can. Sure. Um, it is uh, where the side of line is, is actually a big open area. Okay. 12 feet. 24 feet. What are we looking at here? Yeah. Okay. Um, Two stories, so you can easily get 24 feet. Sure. That's where I go. And I'll stick near Chance. I'm not going to attack yet. Okay. Cool. With that, um, the one you're guessing the Titans referred to as Heat Wave uh, decides to uh, attack you. Okay. I'm going to need toughness saves from both of you. Okay. Uh, chance, you actually get um, a bonus on this. Uh, you get a uh, <clears throat> plus uh, two for cover. Okay. Toughness. So I get 20. 34. Huh. Uh, I, he totally hits you. With a 34. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and chance actually with your bonus you actually are fine you both so uh he lets uh, as he does he lets, uh flips something on this gun and as he fires the um uh, there's a giant cone of flame just kind of juts, juts out that direction uh, and actually manages to catch both of you would have caught both of you uh colossal you just um Managed to actually turn sideways and because you were on the fringe of it, he is oh, because he's originally aiming for chance. Chance, the pillar is now black and charred uh, instead of white marble, but uh, better it than you. <laughs> and marble is stone, so it's not like it's paper. <laughs> and uh, with that, you hear a kind of a uh, 
I'm over in the corner and you look over and you see a third road. Hooray! Another one. Of course. So, um, with that, um, coming in like flies and what he says as he moves and fires his cold gun against the back wall icing off the back wall in an attempt to hopefully keep any of you other wayward heroes from interfering oh, okay I missed Beast Boy, what would you like to do? Okay, so... Of course, thanks. Now, I'm probably going to notice that uh, Captain Cole is going to seal off that entrance and like, oh shoot. Uh, some of the yeah. other team went inside and they're trapped. Uh, would I be able to... Uh, let me see here. I want, to, I want to try ramming into that with something. Uh, a rhino? Yeah, I was about to say a rhino. <laughs> do I have Do I have a rhino in here? Um, in alphabetical order. No, I don't think I have a rhino in here. Um, I do have a stegosaurus, though. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Yeah, and if you think of something that's not on there, we can we can wing it too. Like, I don't think I have stats fully mounted on on your cheat sheet, but yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Well, no, let's let, let's go let's go uh, Stegosaurus. Would I do strength check for ramming ramming the ice wall? Yeah. So what I'm gonna have you do is actually. Um, still, it's been a little while since I had it. Okay. You should be able to just uh, type uh, slash roll 1d20 plus, and in this case, we're going to use the uh, second source of strength modifier, uh, which, which is, is a plus 11. 11, okay. So if you just want to type that into the little chat field and then hit. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Yeah, I, no. I, I think slash r first, I guess. Yeah, slash r. I've got a little spoil with the, the, the fancy custom character sheets on roll 20. I'm like, how, how's the basic roll again? Whoa, yay! Dang. Hey, nice. I'm going to light that up in chat. So with that, um, Beast Boy uh, starts, uh, comes flying down. As he does, he shifts and morphs, and there's a flash of kind of this orange yellow green blur. And as he does, he transforms into... A freaking dinosaur um, slams into the ice wall. <laughs> as he does, you hear crack, and you know, this crashing uh, sound as the, basically it sounds like the entire glacier coming down on the inside. Uh, and ice, is, uh, ice chunks kind of spill out through the blown open doorway and flood down the steps past Beast Boy. Mm -hmm. um, Beast Boy, you're welcome to. Oh, Stay in that form if you like, or you can shift. But up to you. But uh, I'll 
I'll stay in that form, but give a kind of like a hyped up uh, roar, Stego roar. Yeah, I, I need to I hear what apologize. a Stego roar sounds like. Oh, roar. So, um, oh, no. I do apologize. I wanted to be really cool and put all these cool little tokens in there for all the different guard, different animal stuff, but it was a last minute fill in, so I'm like, oh, there's not enough hours in the day, but. No, that's okay. Uh, we we can make time. pretend. Oh. So, uh, with that, Beast Boy is blasted, well, basically just rammed open, and there's plenty of room for all the other heroes to get through. Um, the ice and the, the crashing from the Stegosaurus did kind of shatter all the front windows, even though they were security glass, so pretty much that entire entryway is wide open. Um, so. Out of shock and awe, my only response is, Booyah! (laughs) (laughs) Alright. In the far distance, you can can hear the sound of sirens coming from the uh, the Freedom City first responders. But they're probably going to take a little bit to get here, because of course they will. This is going, like, this fast. So, um... Superboy, what would you like to do? So, Weather Wizard is, like, not in a good way right now. I know. Weather Wizard is uh, is awake. He's conscious. Um, but he is disarmed. Um, I mm. will allow you, if you want, to take a, a, a minor mm-hmm. action to basically... You could do that. <laughs> I would recommend against that. Okay, um, I won't do that then. You, you, you know enough about things like that blowing up really loudly and largely. Um, mm-hmm. okay. It may not be a safe bet, but you can uh, casual strength him into unconsciousness. Okay. Just don't hit me. I'm holding him, so don't hit me well, on accident. Put him down then. <laughs> okay, I'll minor, I'll minor action him into unconsciousness. Do some minor brain damage, who knows. <laughs> Conscious is bad for y'all. PSA. Don't PSA. This is a PSA. Unconsciousness is bad, y'all. Yeah. Anyway. With that out of the way, I at, before I go into the bang house, Vixen, like, don't you all have an app to tell you when this stuff is happening? Okay. Um, my mic did break up a little bit. What was that? I asked Vixen, don't they have an app for when to tell them when this stuff is happening? People have to report it. It it, it could be going off. Uh, I don't know. I'm still holding what Weather Wizard. All right. Well, I'm once I do under Weather Wizard unconscious, I'm gonna try to go into the bank, and I see both Captain Cole and Heatwave. Yes. All right. I'm going to go after Captain Cole first, and I'm going to yell to Chance and Colosso. Okay. Col- Sorry, I don't want to mispronounce your name. Uh, yes. Yep. Colosso. Okay, their guns work like that really old movie Ghostbusters. If you cross them, that should short them out. I'm across the stream. Okay. And I'm going to attack... Captain Cold. So, um, you're just gonna try to run up a punch him, you know, throw something on him, like, how are you gonna attack? Um, I'm probably just, I'm gonna run up and punch him before he has a chance to blast me. Try, try and least. So, um, go ahead and make me an unarmed attack. And with that, you run up and go to attack him. Um, unfortunately for you, he does, uh, uh, fires his gun and kind of uses the propulsion from it to kind of and slides on some ice a little bit, like a couple feet out of it, just out of reach. So you swing at uh, Rude. Boy. 
old man. No idea who you're messing with. I've done like I've gone up against the likes of the Flash. And you keep losing. So give up. <laughs> Can't you actually just like go into technology and make legitimate money? Dumbass old man. Yeah, that requires work. This was okay. You know what? I have other people who can beat you up now. I have other people. <laughs> Um, that's my turn, I guess. <laughs> Dixon, what would you like to do? Okay, so Weather Wizard's uncon unconscious, right? Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna drop him. It's not gonna hurt. It's not like it's like three, four feet. It's fine. Um, I'm going to run inside, and who's closer? Is is Heatwave or what? Or uh. uh Captain Cold closer. Yeah, so we've got Heat Wave over this way and we've got Captain Cold over. Uh, Captain Cold is Well I will I will go after uh, Heat Wave because he's attacking he's attacking my team. Um, I'm gonna try and uh, I don't know. Dim mock is gone. Not that uh, that's probably smart, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Cause I don't know any better. Yeah, or I rolled a two, so I totally miss is gone. Yeah, you. Yeah, you kind of miss. Um. Unless you want to spend a, a re-roll or a hero point. I will spend a re-roll or a hero point. It doesn't matter. I'll spend a hero point because they don't stay. Okay, so I'll spend a hero point. Try that again. Yay, 24! Better. Much is good. Dev Mock is gun. The kill is gun. In my world. <laughs> Definitely relate also. <laughs> you just open tabs the number, of rogues, then... the number of rogues is limited by how many windows I can, I can easily have open on my screen at one time. Oh uh, my goodness. So, um, with that, uh, I did totally uh, tag him. Yeah, it's gone. I was punching. It's gone. <laughs> break the gun. Is, um, is there any special, is it a standard attack or is that like a different, is it toughness or is it something else that it does? I think you have to hit with it, but it's a DC and it's got different inflictions yeah, a, on it. It's a D, DC 17 fortitude. You go, clank, you come down on the gun, and you hit this clank as it, uh, on metal, and he's like, don't hit baby, and pull, kind of pulls the gun a little bit to his... Is that, is, 
Is that like, don't put baby in the corner? I'm sorry, honey. Okay, um, with that chance, right, what is all this to me right now? Yeah, so because Vixen came running through, kind of leaped, and came, and as she went over, flipping over heat wave, she kind of struck the gun and landed. Okay, but is heat wave closer or is Captain uh, Cold closer? Heat wave's the closest. Yeah, you're right here behind this okay. corner. Okay. He's right over here. All right, I step out and. Um, thrust my arm out and activate the staff so that it's uh, it shoots out at him but it's still holding in my hand. Kind of like what I did to the lock at, uh, or to the guard in the, um, oh, okay. in the cellar. Very cool. 19. Uh, fortunately 19 is not going to be good enough to hit him. Dang. Do I have any movement left? Yeah, you can you can move um away or up closer, however you want to move. I'm gonna go back behind the pillar. <laughs> do you want to stay behind the pillar? You're out, or do you want to flip and land over here in this other pillar? No, let's go to the other pillar. Heatwave seems pretty distracted. He's kind of focusing on fixing right now. It's fine. So, um, weather wizards out of it, and Colosso, what are you gonna do? Is anyone on Private Parka there? Captain I'm Cole. Trying. I'm trying, not having success. I'm gonna go over there and kick him. <coughs> Feel free to put this guy on ice, Colosso. Oh, that's not my thing. Uh, I don't have. Like, I don't have ice. Out. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna kick him. <laughs> Just a uh, unarmed attack. Okay. Uh, again. It's Captain Cold or a hero? Captain Cold. If that is a hit, I'll spend my hero point to reroll that. That is not a hit. Okay, then I spend my hero point to reroll with that. That, that does it. Uh, that is and a. Technically, you. Let's see. Did you roll. Was that 12 you rolled or did you roll 6? No, you rolled a 6, right? What'd you roll? What was the D D twenty number? Um, twelve. 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 Okay. That's twelve. I was just making sure that you didn't get super awesome. With that, uh, you actually managed to uh, um, slam your fist down. You don't actually get a good hit on him. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You hit the ground next to him, sending a bunch of debris up and hitting him. Okay. Well, I've got a thing I can do real quick then. Um, let me find it. So when I hit with an unarmed attack, I can immediately make a grab check against them as a free action. Okay. So, what do I roll for grab check? And that's a, um, unless you have any bonuses, it's still just be another unarmed attack. Sure. Unless you bought combat levels or something. Um, or is it, um, yeah. And I can do it one hand because I have improved grab and improved hold. Um, so, let's do this. Oh no! I'm gonna use no. my one of the rerolls on the table. Oh no! <laughs> I'm good. 
Yeah, let, oh, yeah, let's go. There we go. <laughs> what is this like? Polar yeah, opposites. <laughs> Extremes. Yeah, so uh, with that, uh, so with that, Colosso had reached over, slams his fist on the ground next to uh, Captain Cold, kind of doing a little mini shockwave. It just kind of sends Captain Cold kind of up a little bit, uh, about, you know, six or seven inches off the ground. But as he does, Colosso goes, boom, and then going to, Stab. <laughs> I like it. Kind of like a uh, pop him up and grab him out of the air. Uh, you now have a handful of cold. A nice. handful of cold. Just a reminder, like, um, he gets a minus five penalty to escape. At least he doesn't have cold feet. Oh. Uh, Are we... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But, but are you really? No. We're heroes. We make puns. We are, are puns. We live puns. So, we are it's puns. like a... Um, with that, you go grab Captain Cold. Um, what would our, our giant, uh, dinosaur like to do? Oh, it is my turn already. Oh, wait. Okay. I, 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 oh. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I do apologize. I jumped ahead. Okay. My bad guy's actually gonna go. You don't um, have to have the bad guys go, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. Uh, with that, Captain Cole will attempt to make... Uh, may, I'm, he's gonna attempt to use his cold gun even to grab. So we'll see, I'm gonna make him do a dex check and see how... Sure. Yeah, he can't get a good enough uh, position to get it. So he can, His idea was to ice up to the inside of your hand, giving you and pull hands, pull feet. Right. Uh, and that misses. Um, with that heat wave, um, looks over at Vixen goes, oh, oh, this is going to be a shame. Um, and cranks and uh, flips a lever on his, on, his, on his flamethrower and lets loose a blast. I need a will. Power save, will save from Nixon. Okay, I, I don't know how good I am at that, but I'm probably better at it than uh, Tuffman. So, at least it's not Tuffman. A will save. That is definitely better than Tuffman's, but I still call me will crap. Yeah. Good job. So, um, with that. Um, you feel a giant wave of heat has blast you, uh, and basically just draining all the, of the oomph and energy out of you, or at least that's what you think is, is a desired intent. Um, fortunately, he does not succeed, and uh, you are still up. I'm gonna be like, thank you, my hair is a little damp from the weather outside. You just, thank you for the blow dryer. That's nice of you. Wow. He kind of then kind of, so kind of butts the putt, the, uh, kind of hits the butt of his gun. Like, That's not supposed to work that way. <laughs> well, I did punch it, so it could be not my functioning. Um, with that, now it's our giant dinosaurs go. Okay, so who am I closer to right now? I, well, I guess no. Colossal already is has uh, cold Sh grab. Should so we I be on the we... bank map, Jonesy? We're still in Astro Labs. I guess that would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you guys aren't seeing the bank. No, we're no. we're on Astro Labs. There you go. Done. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we this go. feels a lot more in context now. <laughs> I That's this. okay. Um, Dear the mind. It happens. It happens. Alright, so yeah, there he is. So <coughs> I suppose um I will uh move uh over to Heat Wave. Actually, actually, no, I wouldn't be able to fit to the door first, so I guess I'd have to go out of um, stego form 
and go through the door. I'm guessing. Yeah, you can you can you can morph mid flight, mid charger, however. Okay. And he did he did also blast a whole bunch of the um the windows and stuff out. So. Okay. Uh, anyway, what I'll do is I can, anyway I'm going to eventually I'm going to go inside anyway. Um, to um, beside uh, Vixen and Heatwave. And I will do um, I'll just go for uh, go for his by his strength based damage. So are you staying in, in I'll I'll stay I'll stay in Stego still. I'll I'll still I'll stay in Dino Form still. Okay. Cool. But I'll but I'll buy him I'll buy him for strength based damage. So. Pull up my thing because I think I got rid of that. Um, strength. So again, it's another 11. So. point you can use. Uh, there is also sure three rerolls. Yeah, yeah, the table. Yeah, I would use something. Um, I'll do one of the... Uh, I'll use a reroll that's on the table and do it again. Space. There we go. Ah, there we go. Yay! Much better. And it's also plus ten because of the reroll, right? So it's. No, it's only if you roll under ten or under. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you okay? Sorry. No worries. But anyway, yeah. So that's a uh, thirty. Yep. Yep. Thirty. With that, um, Dino Beast Boy has. Rushes on, rushes on in. Yeah, uh, so he's outside, kind of shifts into a slightly smaller dino, and then shifts back up to his big form, and kind of full rushing in. As he does, he uh, slams and bites uh, onto heat wave, um, causing heat wave to yell out all sorts of obscenities that locked up. On that. So. Uh, Pretty much, uh, so, what would you like to do, Superboy? Uh, Superboy, so Heatwave was, I'm sorry, Heatwave was hit, he, he's not knocked out yet? He's still up. He's just uh, <coughs> currently oh. in the jaws of dinosaur. Oh, okay. He's currently in the he's in the jaws of the dinosaur, and Captain Cold is in Colossus' hand. I'm going. Okay, so that I was planning on grabbing those, seeing if those little line ropes were still up, and wrapping one of them up in that. But that's been taken care of. So I'm going to try to disarm Captain Cold of his cold gun, if assuming I can reach it. Yeah, totally. Um, go ahead and... Um, make me an unarmed check. Just uh, kind of make sure that you don't... Uh, Blast myself or something? Um, so let's, I don't know, but would I be, that's not good, can I use a, like, a hero point to re-roll that, or? Yeah, in this case, it actually, uh, it was really low, he's pinned by Colossa. 
Okay, so would that succeed? Or... Yeah, so he's got a minus to his, his defense. So, with that, you uh, reach up and grab a cold gun. Okay. I'll be, I'll be taking that. It's time for you to chill out, Captain. <laughs> awesome. Uh, everyone thinks they're comedian. Yeah. I'm, I'm calling from Superman. Yeah, so. Bicycle Junior. Now the funny thing is, is I'm the, I'm the character that's supposed to be doing the quipping, but I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm being quiet, and he's taking my job. <laughs> I have to be rude to these people somehow. Wait, did Beast Boy say that? I'm the one who's supposed to be doing the quipping. Mm-hmm. Alright. So once I have the gun, I'm assuming that's my action for the turn. Yeah, so you've you've uh, so you disarmed him. Uh, you can, if you want, you can destroy the gun, or you can just you know, take it from him. You have enough strength that you can destroy the gun if you want to. Is this one of those things where it would explode? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know? Um, can I try to? I guess it would be another action. Would I be able to try to find a way just to like? Deactivate the gun. Sure. Like, uh, like you know, when like remove the clip or something. Give me a technology check. All right, best at and make best at. A whole one point of it. Okay, one point. So, um, it's well as really straightforward. You uh um find the release and pull out the power cord. Easily mm-hmm. deactivating the gun. Okay, then I'll break the gun after the power core's been pulled out. Be coming. If it, yeah, if it doesn't have power, it ain't gonna explode. Done. Um, it's done explode. With that, um, he waves like, fine, fine, whatever. Just get Dino Boy off me. Someone take his gun and break it too. Cool. Oh. Oh. I will, I'll, I'll release, I'll release him. <laughs> and with that, you're able to secure um, the three routes. Uh, the police will be by shortly to, to pick them up. And with that, do we want to call it a, a quick break? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Yeah. We'll be back in five minutes so I can fix my camera. <laughs> yeah. Now you can get more drink. So tell everybody. All right.
Hi, everybody. We're back. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Inside. Come on. Well, almost back. Hey, uh, heroes, if anyone else makes a pun tonight, I will cheer to the channel. Come on. So, watch your puns. That is, a, that is a dangerous proposition. I didn't say Goblin Slayer us. could play. I'm just saying players can play. <laughs> <laughs> Because my bits will go through quickly. Okay. I finally got this podcast off. Why didn't you do anything? If anyone likes Magic the Gathering, I'm subscribing this. I was just about to say, I like Magic the Gathering. Do you Stop play Commander? Me. Yeah, actually, I do. <laughs> I haven't Have played since 95. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever listened to the podcast Elder Dragon Statesman? No. no. It's Sheldon and an, another person talking about like magic, and it's really interesting. Mm. All right, we're back. All right, we're back. <clears throat> no. So, with that, you have captured three of the rogue rogues. Nice. Um, three of the rogue rogues. Three of the wayward criminals. Sure, uh, wayward no. criminals, I guess. Yep. Um. So, what would you like to do now? Um. You have strange visitors from another world. You have. Uh, who seem to be some teammates, you also have some other wayward rogues to go track down. Uh, I'm going to check my app to see if anyone has reported anything here. See you don't yes. know where she's hiding her cell phone costume. It doesn't look like there's any pockets or anything, but she pulls one out. I mean, like, you're a female superhero, so yeah, that's just par for the course. It's magic. Vixen can only pull up uh, and have her phone in between panels. She pulls it out between <laughs> panels and puts it straight out. Yeah. Um, we're rolling it family friendly, of course. Um. So, Major Chill and Hot Boy. You know where the rest of your friends went? No, we split up. As soon as we realized the big blue wasn't around, we figured the city was for taking. Mm, how did big that blue? go for you? Yeah. Well, we have a big blue. What? Here's a big blue. Hi, Colosso. I held you earlier. Yeah, yeah whatever. Big fan. <laughs> Not the big blue I was referring to. You're not bulletproof and faster than a speeding bullet. Uh, oh, oh that's Guardian. Yes, Guardian. You weren't dealing with him anyway. You were dealing with us. We're still here. Oh, by the way, have you seen our other teammates? Um, yeah. I did. What's it worth to you? Because there are teammates? And nothing in life was free. Including your consciousness. Can I, uh... Did that dinosaur a, just talk? Can I do a strike on him to try and make him tell more truth? Do you like Let's not do him? that. Let's not do that. I'm not gonna knock him out. I'm just gonna make him, like, more forthcoming with his truth. I mean, I'm not I'm not okay with... Is that torture? Like, not just smacking? It's torture. It's mm. pressure points. It's like, you know, acupressure. Can I do... Can I do an insight on <laughs> her to see if it is torture or not? Because it's like, I'm going to punch him until he tells us the truth. It's not torture, it's acupressure. It is. It's Enhanced. <laughs> um, your mentor from Gotham would be okay with it. Your mentor... Yeah, listen, 
my mentor for Go from Gotham's okay with a lot of things, and that doesn't make them all right. Makes them usually not. Yeah, Alice. He's the one who kept a uh, file on all the Justice League. How about I do it to you, and then you'll know that it doesn't really hurt I would prefer that much. Fine. Hey, Glosso, come over here. <laughs> okay. Fine, acupressure me. I'm gonna hit Colosso to show him that it doesn't really hurt. Let me shrink. So like, let me shrink down. <laughs> I shrink down. Lots of doubles over in pain. Yes, it's just going. Cool. <laughs> I think crit on him. I think crit. It's just an effect. It's not. It's not actually doing damage. Colossus so dead. It's toughness, right? It is. Let me check. <laughs> Or fortitude. It is. It doesn't say. It just says DC twenty. You might want to go and fix that. That's all it says in here. I don't have to put the thing. Hold on, I'll tell you. I'll bring it up here, labs. Uh, I'm just gonna say two words. Hostile workplace. Are you doing <laughs> dim mock? No, she strike. No, I'm doing two two strike. Okay. Dim mock's fortitude. It's toughness. I look, I look to Gar, and then I look to Chance. I'm like, are they always like this? Uh huh. Oh crap. What's your DC? What? See, it's fine. Actually, you worked something out my back. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I look at, uh, I look at uh, Superboy, and I'm like, uh, Whatever Earth we're on, the heroes who work here are weird. <laughs> she, she's never killed anyone, so, you know, no, she I can always give it a go. You know you what? Know. I'm sure there. this could be probably another Injustice universe. I don't know. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm going to try to try and get a... I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm closer to uh, Heat Wave. I don't know who am I talking about. <laughs> whoever we're talking to. Whoever we're talking to. 50. <coughs> so you're gonna go over to Captain Cold. Poke, 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 poke. What? What? Enough, woman. What's with this? I'm gonna re roll. Where, where's the flash? You using the table one? Yeah. One left. Uh, I'd rather do his annoying. So twenty six. Rent. <laughs> I just want to filter this. It's just for the best. Hello. It it's a. Uh, Fine, 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 I'm done. Enough, enough, done. I'm just over it. Did that hurt? Or was it just No, annoying? it's annoying. See? No, it didn't hurt him, it's not torture. Um. Your friends got taken off by some people. Like. Well, they look like Amazons. Hmm. A bunch of dudes. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's new. Because I was like, "Hey, are there Amazons here?" And they were like, "No, there's Amazon Prime." Like, there. I told you there are Amazons. You know, it's They're just a, in stuff. history. It's just like mythology and stuff. Would I? Okay. You know what? Sure. Do you, did you see which way they went? And you know, if you help us, we will take you back to our Earth instead of leaving you with these psychopaths. Hey. Hey. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I, I'm always slightly crazy. <laughs> Don't worry. You totally resemble that remark sometimes. That's fair. Fine, whatever. Um, no, I I don't know. They just kind of came in, a bunch of guys with, with skirts and spears and bows and. So like um, some Trojans or something. Don't say anything, Colossa. Nothing inappropriate. 
some Trojan in, okay. So, I don't know. Um, oh, and then what? there was some there was some dude in a black suit watching the whole thing. If I would have known better, I think he's trying to be his, do his best Lex Luthor. How is a dude in a black suit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he say anything? Okay, do you have, do y'all have some rich bald guy who just hangs around the city making life worse for everyone here? <laughs> no, not just Colossus. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a trick question, right? <laughs> do you have. <laughs> the only thing I caught him say was that something about uh, the, the, the head soldier dude said something about, you know, they had to take him back to misfortune, whatever that means. Misfortune? Uh, Sound like <clears throat> very. Is she friends? Is that near Hanover? Is that a, a person or a place? I don't know if they're doing a bit guard or any kind of worry. <laughs> Okay, so they're taking him to someone named Miss Fortune. Is she friends with like misdirection and misrepresentation? Yes. Miss. Okay. And throat. Your sidekick, Mister. Okay. I'm going to. Do I have? Okay. Do I have super hearing, or is that, or is all that's listed on my sheet? Yes. Do you want to make, make me a perception check, please? All right. Dang, I wasn't on my sheet then. Okay, one moment. Perception. Uh, where is? Okay. Would I be able to hear either one of my allies? Um, you Troy or Nightwing. Not, uh, mm -hmm. You do not hear your any you know. Um, Nightwing or uh, Treya, but you do hear someone talking on the phone. Um, I, I don't know, boss. They seem to have captured the three, the three strangers, and uh, I guess they're interrogating them. Let's see, um, I don't see any more of those Roman guys. Um, I'm gonna. Do I know which direction it's coming from? You've got with your superhero, and you can. Yep. Follow me, and I'm just going to take the most direct route out of the building towards the direction. With that and a little blur of blocking and um, blue, uh, Superboy just kind of turns his cocks his head, listens for a second, and then whew, blurs out. And I'm like, what? Wait, oh. Uh, a few minutes later, she returns, holding a, looks like a, a bad, typical FBI dude in a suit. Um, little, little earpiece wire he was wearing, kind of dangling behind as he flew out when he zipped back with him. All right, share what you know with the class. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I, Okay. Uh, boss, boss, can you, can you hear me, boss? But your piece um, can the boss hear him? A few moments later, uh, you guys are still standing on the, on the edge of the bank, and in walks a another. He's still holding up the guy. So I was told to watch and report back, and, and the boss would do what he's supposed to do. And, and a few minutes later, you see a gentleman walk in, middle age. Um, late 30s, early 40s, just a touch of gray on the sides, wearing a black, uh, nice, finely tailored Armani suit, and with a stogie, and he's, uh, ah, Heroes Incorporated. Oh. Yes, that's Hi. what we are. And the strange visitors from, you know, well, not an exploding planet, but you know, strange visitors nonetheless. 
I mean, listen, I've don't, I've been with these three for a good 30 minutes. I don't think we're the strange ones. Hey, well, well you're not from around here. Better terminology, and I dropped the lackey. I believe the phrase, uh, City of Tomorrow kind of rings a bell with you. Okay, so what should what should I call you? Just for me? Sir will do. Hmm? Sir will do for now. Sterile? Sir. Sir. Okay. Yeah. Well, sterile works too, probably. <laughs> no, I'm not judging. Um. Hey, at least our world isn't a giant building shaped like D. That's all I can say. Um, Someone has a giant building shaped like a T? How's that work? Is that like... I wasn't part of the original Teen Titans. I did not have a say in the tower design. Okay? How's that work architecturally? Magic. I okay, I'll, I'll buy it. We also had a caveman, so... Sure. Choose sure. your poison here. Okay, I get it. Totally understand. So, the one responsible for this fiasco, um, I can tell you where to find. I can tell you find her. All right. But for price, ah, Colosso. I'm sorry. <laughs> price. A <laughs> minor price. You'll, if I'm helping you out, then you have to help me favor for a favor. I don't even know who you are, but you know who I am. Which is great, by the way. Because that means we're trending somewhere. We're trending. Yes, that, you are. Some kind of omnipotent watcher, like a storyteller or something. <laughs> Listen. I can give you an autograph. Maybe appear at your kid's birthday party. Give him a doll. <laughs> oh, I've got I these mean, that's what you... extra gu uh, guardian action figures if you like them. Just try to give them to some kid if you want them. Um, no, gonna, get rid I of these. To... Just taking no. up space in the garage. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, I guess in a way you'd be doing me a favor anyway. Dealing with that mess that Hades is creating. Oh, Hades. Yeah, we heard about him. Uh, we, we, I said that we should totally contact Persephone and just tell her to get her man in line. But no one else thought that was a good idea. Well, she's kind of occupied right now. Is she visiting her mother? I mean, it is summertime, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's whose like, side well are on. you on? What side am I on? Yes. I'm on my side. Well, which my side? My side does not turn into a giant hellhole, literally. Okay, we don't want that either, so are you on our side? Anyway. Uh, not, and I, I kind of rather it, have, I mean, kind of points to... Beast Boy and Superboy. I kind of rather have these two back home so that they're, well. Not here? Elders don't show up. Oh, yeah, okay. listen. Yeah, they're two, they're more powerful versions of us. One's okay. chill, the other decidedly not so. Oh, and the rest of them, too. Mm hmm. Anyway. I want to roll insight check on this guy. Go for it. Oh, that's just colossal. I did 15. Probably not enough. <laughs> I need. Mean. Superboy is obviously just willing to do whatever this guy wants to just to get his teammates back and get home. Because. You're crazy! Yeah. 
And who knows if, like, being wrong universes will do something bad to reality or whatever. I think that's the past. Oh. Yeah. What if we were yeah. different yeah. universes? Almost past? like there's a crisis or something. Um. <laughs> a crisis on very finite Earths. <laughs> Just two of them. Oh, there we go. I got a cheer. I can't that's a pun. <laughs> so, um... Insight. Um, this guy is up to no good, but he kind of. Knew. So he's yeah. up to no good. Of course, he's up to no good. Does he saw much swear that? Uh, team, let's huddle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you guys think? Listen, I'm sure we can't trust Cyril, but <laughs> right now he's our That's best chance of getting. Right now, yeah. He's our uh, best chance of getting to misfortune and getting our teammates back yeah, and leaving I, this place. In time to I see usually avoid teammates. misfortune, but in this case, whisper. I have whispered. Let's <laughs> talk in funny voices so he can't understand us. No. Okay. <laughs> Why don't I start? Think nobody wants first and then decide. Hey, what do you want, sir? I want the city to not be a hellhole. Okay, that's a good sure. favor. Well, technically, I think the city is actually pretty nice. I mean, we do have a little bit of a supervillain problem sometimes, <laughs> so that's why we're here. I mean, there are some not so good sections of town, but that's that goes with all big cities. Getting behind the business back. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more about Hades' plan. Yeah, well, Hades does have a plan when you need to stop it. Yes. All right. So, if you want to avoid that, if you want to avoid that, is this a situation where the enemy of my enemy is my friend, at least temporarily? The enemy of my enemy is not someone I'm going to shoot right away just for being an example. Oh, that'll do. Can we so call you something else besides sir? Just throw us a bone and then it Fine. might help. <laughs> the, the, the teammates you're looking for are currently being held in a penthouse in okay. downtown. Okay, which which penthouse? There's a lot of penthouses. It's on the corner, and you get you at the corner, and, and, and an address. Uh, what can you tell us about Miss Fortune? It's a family matter. That's uh, what well, can you tell us what she looks like, what her powers are, her personality. Is she hot? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. That's These things matter. They do matter, yes. But it's subjective. One person's hot, maybe okay. another person's not. So. By the heteronormative societal standards. Doesn't matter. What do we need to know? She's broken the rules. Whose rules? I guess the family's rules. Okay. So is this like a mafia yeah, thing? I can tell you. All right. Well, oh. we gotta get these guys back. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's let's go make sure Miss Fortune has this run of bad luck, right? Mm -hmm. Well, chance is good at that. Hey. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure she you were not the Titans that she was looking for. I mean, I'd be surprised if we were. So if they're not who she was looking for, who was she looking for? Well, Probably the Greek Titan. The Titans. Or maybe the DCEU ones. <laughs> huh? I heard the Robin I arrows are gone. Means. Neither do I. Was she, like, looking for, like, the predecessor to the Greek 
gods that are locked in Hades caused by Hades? Yeah. That's for you to figure out. And with that, he turns around to walk up the bank. Go follow your master. Go on, minion. <laughs> guess we follow him? Is that what we're doing? No, no, let's go to the, the let's go to the Okay. Yeah, let's go to the address he gave us so we can rescue our teammates. I feel that our time on this earth is growing short as it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I enlarge outside to forty two feet. Anyone okay, need a left? Yep. I'm gonna ride on his head. <laughs> Everybody hitches a ride. Um, I will <laughs> lots of us. I'll actually also hitch a ride, but um, I will turn to a monkey and sit on his shoulder. Why is this a dinosaur? Yeah, you're not going to be the monkey on his back? Shoulder. Shoulder. Okay. <laughs> this is close Wait. enough. Turn into an albatross and hang around his neck. <laughs> More appropriate than you might think. Teenagers with their classic literary references. I appreciate that, at least. <laughs> So, with that, you make your way downtown to a rather uh, nice luxury high rise not far from um, the big plaza in downtown. Uh, it is uh, taller than Colossa. Yeah, we should probably go in and take the elevator or something. Like people do. Or we could clock. Oh, it's taller. Is this your max height? Can you get bigger? This is it. Can he reach the top of this building through his hands and then, you know, put us on the roof and then you pull him up and he turns to regular size? How tall, how tall is the building? The building is um, 12 stories tall. Yeah, no. Um, so, how? How many feet is that? Roughly 120, 130. All right, everyone, get on my back. I can leap 100. I can leap 1800 feet. Can you carry all of us? I'm super strong. Okay. <laughs> can we all fit? I mean, you're you're just a you're a boy. Can you like? How are we all going to stack up? Well, More maybe the other two can go wherever your cell phone goes in between panels. Who knows? <laughs> He can have one person in each arm, and someone can put their arms around his neck. Yeah, and Beast Boy, just fly up. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that works. So yeah. I shrink when he does this. Are you going to fit in his pocket? His no, pocket? I don't mean shrink, shrink, normal size. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to be pocket size. We fixed my belt. We fixed that map. That it doesn't do it anymore. Uh, well, it could be useful sometimes. You don't know. You could call him this month's butt. No, let's... solution. That sounds very gross. Let's not have him do that. Ever. Alright. Everyone on my back, other or on no. my shoulders or under my arms are flying. Okay. Good. Let's go. Alright. That was very you weird. You're flying up to the roof of the building? Yeah, I'm just jumping in up onto the roof. So, uh,. That you arrive at the top of the giant penthouse. Cool. 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 And I don't. Huh? I'm sorry. Okay. Having you check them real quick. I feel like we should have a stinger to the next scene. Like the 60s Batman. <laughs> Which, by the way, if anybody knows how to make stingers for a channel, please get in contact with me. I would love to learn. I actually mm -hmm. wanted to um, get the little. Um, Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice soundbite. Mm. And then the 
signal to your friends. Zoo, 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 zoo. Sound effect? <laughs> yeah, but so, zoo. Um, you arrive and you jump up on top of the roof, and as you do, you quickly look around and greet it with a whole bunch of people in Roman-esque armor. Wow. And uh, as they do, they all kind of pull their, their spears down in, in a guard position and go, Halt! Who goes there? Uh, and the guy who says in that... What language? Very... What language did they yell it in? Ah, I was supposed to say. The guy who says that sounds like a of accent. What? You cut out for a second. He said that he has a Greek accent. Nope, he has a very Midwest accent. Oh, Midwest. Wow. Korean actors are awesome these days. Are there 300 hey of them? Hey guys, have you ever thought how it's raining men and blood bodies at the floor just the same event from two different perspectives? I ask the hoplites. <laughs> Um, one of them goes quickly. Get the get the get the captain. Okay, the captain. just tell us where he is, and I'll go get the captain for you. Yeah. No, okay. They are not cooperative, are they? Are villains in your universe just not up to banter? Huh? Are villains in your villain. universe just not up to banter? It depends on the villain. Uh, Some of them talk too much. Yeah, listen. Um, so, <laughs> and with it, that, it must, um, is it universal? Is it universal that they admit? And with that, the door opens up, the elevator opens up. You see a gentleman like, this gentleman. Oh my, oh my god, it's Julius Caesar. Well, <laughs> we need to find Brutus. Ah, well, you got here faster than I was expecting. Who are you? Oh, my apologies. I should have introduced myself. Yeah, that would be nice. With that, he does kind of like a little half bow. Uh, my mistress is called, uh, has dubbed me Sp Spartan. Oh, okay. Hmm. Are you a bad guy or a good guy? Or a medium guy. Well done, guy. I am a warrior in service of my goddess. Who is your goddess? Misfortune. What's she the goddess of? Misfortune. She's been called that, but I would never call that to her. I would I would recommend against calling that her that to her face. Eros. Eros. Is that her name? Eros. Goddess of. That Wait, we were talking sorry. about. Yeah, this is also a dude. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so is she downstairs? Yes. Um, uh huh. Uh -huh. You, and he kind of like points over to you and Beast Boy. Did you two come with the others? Yes. Yes. Thank you for doing that, by the way. We had a nice movie night planned out. Yeah. You should come with me. Guards, stand down. And with that, the, the guards kind of look over and like, kind of go back and hold his spirit back. Eris. Yeah, it's Eris. E-R-I-S, right? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Goddess, Goddess of, of uh, Discord. Is that what we're talking about? No? Maybe? Um, <laughs> I'm walking into the elevator. Out of character, is someone peeking at the rule book? No. Nope. Me? No, she's just really smart about, like, mythology and art history and stuff. The story of Eris and the, gar and the, and the Golden Apple is a really, really big story, because that leads to the church. Yeah. And, and... Uh, 
bonus hero point next game if you can tell me uh, what her relationship with Hades is. No looking. Uh, no looking? Yes. Uh, is she... I think it's some mythology says so she's his daughter. But I'm not quite sure. Is, is, so oh, it, she says niece. It's different. Mythology's weird. Yeah. No. Colossal can't keep s- can't stop staring at Vixen. He's like impressed. <clears throat> she knows Greek mythology. Yes, that's that's why I can't stop staring at Vixen. I'm impressed. Good job, Vixen. <laughs> You're impressed by something. <laughs> I'm also so, staring at her, but also because she complimented my powers earlier, so I'm kind of yeah. Hyped about that. She it, it, they do are really awesome powers. That's like just. Have you ever okay? I, I saw you turn into a hawk. Have you ever heard thought about turning into a harpy eagle? Hmm, that's doable. Yes, they are very cool. They're very big. They have very big talons. Uh, they they look scary. Beast boy, Vixen reminds you a little bit of Starfire. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I don't anyway, know if um, we'll or not. <laughs> all of you want, can we all come? Or are you just a few stuff? I think we're a package deal right now. Yeah, I mean, it'll be less interesting for those three if they don't get to come. We don't want them just sitting here for however long this takes. Mm-hmm. So, with that, um, uh, he leads you into the elevator, and then you uh, go down. Um, into a very well appointed living room space area. And uh you see. Oh, hello. You have a golden apple. Uh-huh. Oh. What's up? How you doing? Um What's I like your wings. Behind, floating behind her kind of suspended in the air, you see a gentleman wearing a blue and yellow costume. Or sorry. Yeah. Oh, blue and yellow at this point. Um, blue and yellow costume, and next to him is a woman wearing a um, red uh, bodysuit with gold stars, and she seems to have a lasso attached to her head. Troya and Nightwing? Hmm. But you two both recognize as Troya and Nightwing. Hi! Guys! And they seem to, they're kind of floating up in the air, and she's. Donna's obviously. Troya's kind of fighting against the. She's not. No, 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 little cousin. Stop that. Mm. So, let me guess you cast some spell. Ask for Titans. Got. Got Teen Titans? Did you stutter? Give me the Teen Titans? <laughs> What's going on here? You didn't stutter. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should that. So, so, sorry, your goddess, Well, do you know what your foolish friends were trying to, uh, your foolish friends were trying to steal? Like, the foolish friends behind us? Or are you talking about the rogues gallery? Hey! No, I'm not talking about you guys. No, the foolish friends you have suspended in the air, the, or you mean the rogues? Apparently, whatever they did interfered as well. Okay, yeah, those aren't our friends. But yeah, I don't know what they were trying to steal. Enlighten me. Or you could just send us home. Either one. Either one. Maybe both. I'm why good should, with not. Why one. should I send you home? You can just your brother Sterile told us to kick your ass. Sorry, but I'm sorry. I should have. That wasn't becoming of me. That was very unbecoming. I'm sorry, Bixen, Colosso, Chance. I should be. I should serve as better role models to up and coming heroes such as yourself. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Call back. You didn't apologize to me, but I also <laughs> forgive you. Sorry, God. <laughs> You're, you're a full-fledged hero, so I trust you're not as impressionable as these three. You know, we are... Are you, 
um, details. <laughs> and, and, and why should I release any of you? Because again, you you're make pawns against my uncle. Are we talking about sterile again? Or are you trying to summon Hades? I think she's trying to stop the summoning of Hades. Oh, okay. Well, listen. We want to stop this? Hades. You want to stop Hades. We listen. We want to get out of stop Hades. Get out of here. Go watch a movie. Maybe the Princess Bride remake. I know it's bad, but you know, we just have listen. It's fun. It's funny, bad. Okay. Stop. They put the part about all all of her clothes. They gave her in there. No. No, they didn't. It, they, it, it was a less Craven film. Uh, <laughs> that's real strange. Yeah, okay. It is. Will we what? make the insight check, Vixen? Okay, let me pull that up. Insight. I don't think I have very good anything, so here we go. Woo! Go, Vixen, go. There's a reroll of the table still. Okay. <laughs> I'll use it, but cards, I thought that would be cool. It's 19. I rolled a 16. Uh, it's fine. It's just fine. Yeah. And you're actually getting, and you get a bonus for for your history stuff. So, um, yeah. you recall these strange gentlemen tell you she broke the family rules. You recall from mythology that she's not supposed to mess with mortals directly. Yeah. They're in trouble ever since Hades' little shenanigans a couple of years ago. Well, that's a, well, uh, well, she did break the rules, she broke the rules. I see in shades of gray, see. This is drawing, this is good start to sentence. Are you going to be in trouble with the other gods for uh, uh, messing in mortal affairs, or does this count as 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 divine affairs since Hades trying to break? I'm a little I'm a little fuzzy. It seems a little like the lines are blurred. Very well. Yes. And with that, the, the gentleman here, consort, gentleman, armored soldier, lieutenant, kind of like, kind of takes a step back away from her. He kind of looks slightly uncomfortable. Very well. Thank you greatly. As the, Feels like this, and the little golden apple appears, and then she kind of like does kind of half chucks it over her shoulder. And as she does, it hits the mirror, giant crashing sound, and then a vortex opens up, and Beast Boy and Superboy are sucked into it, followed quickly by the by the rest of the three of you. The rest of the three of us. Oh. You two end up back in the streets of Metropolis. Oh, thank God. Good. <laughs> Three of you are outside on the street, followed by Overdrive and Guardian. They have, like, awesome stories to tell us about another universe. Overdrive and Guardian may or may not have still in the city this entire time. Good. They elsewhere. They were locked in a bathroom somewhere. Chance, Vixen. This has been a very, very strange day. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that we all need coffee. I think we should lay off the 
colossal creams. They may be really bad now because I'm hallucinating a lot of stuff. I could be the famous <clears throat> bastard. What? No, I don't think that I'll get any of you out. I'll already be talking to the Faded Sessions. It's probably awesome. Can I just say, back in the streets of Metropolis, I put my hand on Gar's shoulder and said, Gar, let's never talk about this again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, whipped out from behind you here on Nightwing Go. Um, as they come down, him and Donna come walking up. I agree. Let's not bring this up again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, listen. Movie night, y'all? Movie night. Game? Yeah. With that brings us to the top of the hour and the end of our show. So, I think that our <laughs> guest should do do our PSA. We just need to know what, what the PSA is about. <coughs> No, Don't you can, do drugs and stop crime. You kids. can you can do them both together. <laughs> okay. I think yeah. that it should, yeah. should the PSA should be about Hollywood needs to stop making bad remakes. The PSA should be about uh, playing with things you don't know about, like the wand and the guns and stuff. <laughs> or don't play with fire. Or do you know if you know what you're doing, <laughs> or if it's really cool. Or, you know, most arsonists, what the Oh, Superboy on why, like, <laughs> unconsciousness is, like, super bad for you. Because of the foyer. Kids. Hold on, I gotta be Jim. <laughs> we have a thing now. Kids. Hold on. Alright, bye. Hold on. Uh, only you can start start. And now, a public service announcement. By not Heroes Incorporated. <laughs> Kids, I know fighting crime is looks fun and it might look cool to be with Heroes Incorporated, but if you ever find yourself outside of a strange lab and then there's a tall guy, someone who's barely clothed, and chance talking to you, <laughs> just say <laughs> no. <laughs> You want to say something, Beast Boy? Uh, uh, no, I think you covered it quite good. Okay, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The more you know. Well, thanks, everybody. Thanks, uh, Jonesy, for running tonight. And thank you, Nicholas Roberts and Eric Sapolsky for joining Yay! us. Both did a great job. And if you guys want to promote your Twitter, or sorry, your Twitch, Twitter, and your podcast address. Well, <laughs> after you, Nicholas. All right. Um, my Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash RobinX, um, which I will actually send in chat here. Um, my, I do have a... Um, not Twitch yet. Twitch is Robinix with a CKS. Twitter is a Robinix with an IX. Uh, and yeah, that's that's all I got. Uh, I do try. I'm not really 100% regular streaming yet, but uh, I'm working on a couple of things, trying to figure out what I want to do with it. Uh, more 14, Final Fantasy 14 stuff. Um, some other maybe Let's Play stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's all I got. I'm new. Uh, please be kind. Aww. <laughs> well, we love having you. Be kind, uh, rewind. Come on, give this yep. man some follows. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, and like I said, like I said before, I'm Eric Trapolsky. You can find me at the Dice Fiends. I'm the DM. And we are we are having a hardwired island adventure currently, which the final part should be coming out the week after this one. Cool. But if you want to follow my unique brand of shit posting, you can always go to Twitter <laughs> and follow me at the Space Hamster. The Space Hamster. I will, awesome. be I will be dropping a link in the chat. And yeah, just hit me up, at me with your hot takes. Who knows? <laughs> I might agree with them, or I might not. Are anybody else have anything? Gen Con. 
Oh, I'm I'm a target employee, so I don't have enough money. Oh. To get all right, well, I guess that's it. Uh, we'll see you Thursday for D&D and next oh, Monday yes. for Heroes. See you Thursday. See you Thursday. Bye. 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 Bye.